folks, and welcome back to another Wise Gamer video. Today we're going to do some tech talk. That's right, and I'm actually having this issue right now as we speak. So I figured I'm going to try a, a few fixes, and if it works, I'm going to share it with you people. So if this ever happens to you, you know what to do. And again, this is using Windows 10. All right. Now what's happening to me right now, and it's happened to me ever since I upgraded my uh, video card, my uh, video drivers. And I had an issue with my video driver. It was blotching out in video games or whatnot. Or even sometimes just looking at my desktop, I'd see little, those little pixelating squares going, going on. So I, uh, I did a, um, oh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue. We, we make the computer go back in time, a system restore. Okay, so I ran a system restore to go back to the old video driver, which I have other videos about. And uh, ever since then, it did go back, but I've had little issues here and there. And now my screen save is not working. All right, uh, my screen saver is actually not displaying anything at this moment. So uh, we're going to try a few things here. The first thing you want to do to access your screen saver settings is uh, there's probably different ways you could do this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. You just right click somewhere on your desktop and you're going to go to personalize. Right up on the top here, just type in screensaver. Okay, and right here it says turn screensaver on or off. Now just click on that and this box is going to open up. Now once this is open, this is where you could set your screensaver to which uh, images you want to use or whatnot and also your your hibernation your your sleep mode uh... the minutes there and all that now sometimes uh... what happens is none of this will work but my i think my my hibernation is working because i'll i'll just get a a uh, a description saying uh... there is no image to show so we could see i do have it set to bubbles and if i go to preview we're going to see that it says that Windows could not start this screensaver. So once I click on that again, now I don't know if the actual video picked that up because both of my monitors went black and it said there was no image to show. So this is what we're going to try to do to fix this. Okay, what I'm going to do, and I'm not sure if this is really going to work, but we're going to open up the run command. And in run, you're going to type in misconfig. All right, that's MS C O N F I G and then hit OK. All right, and then right here on the first screen that opens up, you want to bullet click on diagnostic startup. Then just hit apply. Hit OK. And now I'm going to restart my system, so I'll be right back and we'll see if this is going to work. Okay, so I am back after the restart. Now let's check it out and see if it actually worked. So again, let's go back down to personalize by right-clicking anywhere on the desktop. Typing in screensaver up here in the box. And again, this is for Windows 10. Oop. Screen saver. Go to turn screensaver on or off. Give it a minute. Let the box come up. And we could already see the bubbles and the little screen floating around. So that means it's working. Now if I hit preview, we're going to see it on my actual monitor. See it? It's, it's not for very long. Alright, see? Well, actually, actually it's not picking up. I noticed that my, that my uh, video capture is not picking up the actual bubbles on my screen. But it's loaded with many a bubble. So it is working. Uh, so that's good and actually it's still let's try it again no it's not that's ah, strange on how my mon my uh my uh OBS is not picking up the bubbles for you guys but uh we could see that again <clears throat> once it goes back to this you could you could actually see it in this box see them floating around All right so that means it works now very important when i did that misconfig and i i put it in that setting to make this work I noticed my internet was disabled. So doing that must disable the internet or some other things in your computer. So to be on the safe side, we want to go back and we want to put that back to where it originally was and then restart your computer again. So again, you're going to right click on this, go to run, 
and it should already saved it but if it didn't didn't again it's misconfig and I'll put a description somewhere in the video and I'll just press OK alright now originally we we went to diagnostic startup restarted the computer system to make this work now you just want to go back and put it on normal startup hit apply and then OK and then it's going to tell you to restart your computer again so it saves that alright so as a matter of fact I want to do that okay so thanks a lot of guys uh, again for stopping by and watching Wise Gamer uh, you guys have a great day and don't forget to sub up and I'll be coming out with more videos take care bye bye hope, hope this works for you take care bye bye